Alright, well we're working on the Speed Goat 2.0s here and uh, we're just doing the process called parkerizing, which is what turns our blades black. We do these on all our high carbon steel blades um, and what parkerizing is, is basically it's a forced oxidization reaction that we put onto the surface of the steel so we don't actually spray it on or coat it on like most other knife companies. We actually put it in this chemical bath and it reacts with the steel and builds onto the surface. So it's extremely durable and very effective at preventing rust. And um, this was actually done a lot in World War II on a lot of knives and guns and other military equipment, um, which was kind of a big upgrade from what they used to do, which was bluing. Um, but it's still totally relevant, it works great, and um, it's pretty cool because it's matte and uh, it hangs on there really, really well. So yeah, that's what we're working on. Well, these guys are sharpened MKC stuff, but I'm stealing the belt grinder. This is a custom folder that I've gotten finished up. It's got fossilized woolly mammoth ivory handle. It's all heat colored, heat blued, and got uh, firework liners, and then Damascus blade and bolsters. And it is a pocket knife. So it's one of my custom Josh Smith pocket knives instead of uh, an MKC knife. MKC pocket knives may be next year. What's up guys? Aiden with Montana Knife Company here. It's a super busy week. We're dropping the Speedcoat 2.0s this week. So everybody in the shop is just grinding away. We're sharpening, we're assembling, we're tying, we're cleaning them, we're getting them ready for you guys. As you can tell, it's finally starting to snow here in Montana. This past weekend, Ben and I, another employee here, went out and poked around in the backcountry here. Uh, kind of just getting a first glance at what everything's doing and what the snow is doing. We're both really into skiing, so we poked around in the backcountry and saw some stuff. Uh, scouted out some big lines that we wanted to ski. Kind of just found some zones that we're really looking forward to exploring as more snow falls. We had some fun turns, started a couple of little avalanches, but yeah, we had a lot of fun out in the snow. It's pretty dang cool to live here in Montana where you can drive 10 minutes either direction and be surrounded by nobody but some really vast mountains and pretty incredible terrain. Hey guys, growing up here in Montana and hunting as a kid, uh, I've seen the devastating effect that wolves have had on our landscape here in Montana, especially on the elk and the deer herd populations. We just saw wolves released into Colorado and that was really done through a ballot initiative and not through real actual science and the study of, of elk herd populations and deer herds. It was really a popularity contest of just getting wolves back on the landscape. That, that's just gonna be an absolutely devastating decision that I don't think so many people in Colorado know uh, what that effect is going to have on their animals. There's a group out there, Coloradans for Responsible Wildlife Management, that's doing an amazing job uh, you know, going into their, their uh, House of Representatives, their Senate there locally, and, and trying to lobby for uh, the correct and responsible management of wildlife. There's other groups like Howl out there that are also doing the same thing in, in other states as well. Uh, we've seen uh, Washington lose uh, spring bear hunting. Uh, we see what happens with trapping and a lot of different things. And if we as hunters, and frankly, we as brands don't get more involved, we're gonna just see the continual uh, erosion of our hunting rights and, and hunting on the landscape in general. That's why here at Montana Knife Company, we are donating $5,000 to this group. I understand that's a fairly small and maybe insignificant amount of money, but what I'm hoping is this motivates other brands to step up and get more involved. And not just brands, but individuals. If we all donate $5,000, if we make this a big push all across the country to help groups in Colorado or Washington or wherever else in the country we're losing our hunting rights, maybe together we can actually make a difference. You're not gonna see a lot of big companies step out there and put their opinions and get into the political arena like we're doing right here. Uh, but we hope this sets a standard. Uh, we hope you guys will get educated on this. We see the bad side of lobbying so much in government. And frankly, as hunters, uh, we need to get a little bit more involved locally, especially uh, with getting in, involved with our representatives, getting involved with government and doing our own lobbying and trying to fight against the big money that's being poured into this. Because let's face it, 
This really isn't about wolves. This really isn't about the grizzly bear. This is about trying to control hunting, uh, you know, knock the elk herds down, knock the deer herds down, as we've seen happen in Montana. And ultimately, we end up losing the amount of tags that we can have for hunting and, and down the road, maybe even lose hunting altogether. So together, let's try to fight this. Um, and I encourage you guys to donate. Hey guys, Jess Smith here in the fulfillment room at Montana Knife Company. We had an amazing drop last night, sold out in under five minutes, which is amazing, but also I know very frustrating for those of you that could not get a knife last night, so we're really sorry. We have more in production already. They'll be ready in soon, <laughs> soon. And then the goal this year is to have a lot of these knives in stock. So we just appreciate you being patient with us as we just continue to grow and scale. Uh, I do wanna give you a couple of tips for how to get a knife on a drop. This is not a guarantee, but these tips will help. First of all, be on the website prior to 7 p.m. Uh, and then refresh your screen so that you see the knives available and like go live. If you wait until you get your email notification, a lot of times you will miss it because of the way that technology works and the way the, the length of time those emails take to get to you. Sometimes by the time you see your email and go to the website, they're gone. I know that happened last night for a lot of people. So be on the website prior to seven, refresh your screen so you see the knives become available. And then when you are checking out, I would suggest that you only buy one knife. If you go back and try to buy a shirt or a hat and you come back to your cart, a lot of times that knife is gonna be sold out because everything is selling so quickly. So try to buy just your knife, and then it's really helpful if all of your payment information is saved. And by that, I mean Shop Pay or Apple Pay. If you don't have to enter your credit card information, it saves lots of time. So that's probably the most helpful tip. Uh, we really want everybody to be able to get a knife, and we just super appreciate everybody uh, that's on this journey with us and uh, couldn't be here without you. So we are giving away a Speed Goat 2.0, and uh, if you want to win this knife, you are going to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, preferably nice comments, and then please subscribe to our email list and you can win this Speedgoat 2.0.